Okay. Settle down. We just have the new business, new constitutional amendments introduced here for the first time. These are amendable by the preliminary business meeting, unlike everything else pretty much we've dealt with. So, time limits. For D1, remote but real, I would set five minutes on it. Any objection? Yes. Kevin. I'm not objecting to the motion. I'm just put it, I'd like the time limits, uh, like the, not the filling lights method on that. I, I propose 10 minutes. Right. 10 minutes, five minutes are proposed. Andrew. Are you proposing a, f a time? No. Oh, then can you sit down? We'll oh, deal with sorry. that later. <laughs> <laughs> Any other times between five and ten minutes? Hearing none, those are the two proposals. Those in favour of ten minutes, please show. <coughs> those against? Ten minutes it is. Right, could I have either Kate or Cliff to speak for this, please? Uh, no. no. I think. Be assertive, Andrew. Uh, Andrew Adams, propose we refer this one to committee to report back no. next year. Right, would you care to speak to your motion to refer to committee, please? Um, I believe this is an important discussion we need to have. I believe. Mr. Chairman, the preliminary me business meeting cannot refer anything beyond the main business meeting. Ah, true. Yes. You would have to bring that one up tomorrow. I didn't want to overpower the microphone. <laughs> oh, you will when I do. <laughs> Mr. Ch Mr. Chairman, <laughs> Mr. Chairman, uh, I do believe that the rules of the World Science Fiction Society business meeting do not allow the preliminary business meeting to postpone anything beyond the main business meeting. Am I right? You are right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Therefore, Andrew was out of <laughs> Cliff. <laughs> Could we suspend the rules to do this? Oh, it would be possible, yes. It's a rule. We can suspend it. Sure. <laughs> it would take a two-thirds vote. Do you wish to make such a motion? Well. <laughs> Point of personal privilege is Dr. Adams, not Mr. Adams. Um, you can bring it up. No, I, 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 will, I will bring it, bring it up at the main meeting. There's no reason to... Uh, um, Thank There's you. no reason not to do it tomorrow. Right. Cliff or Kate, would you like to speak to this? Uh, Kent, what are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I move to postpone indefinitely. Second. Right. Right, we are, that is debatable, and if I remember rightly, has four minutes for debate, yeah. separate. Um, would you care to speak in favour of postponing indefinitely? Sir. Yes, Mr. Chairman, I would. I uh, believe that this is a complex issue. I believe that, that I haven't had adequate time to figure it all out, uh, all the ramifications. I believe that we'd be much better. Uh, either with a committee or without a committee to have a year to think about it, and so I think we should postpone it indefinitely. Um, Kate, please, as one of the makers. Quite frankly, I agree. I would prefer that we not postpone indefinitely. Sorry, my name is Kate Secor, and I agree that the motion is probably missing some discussion. I moved it so that we could start the discussion. I would urge that we not postpone indefinitely, but that we do move it to committee tomorrow because that will force us to actually have the discussion instead of it going back onto the back burner and having to get moved again every year until we actually talk about it. Thank you, Kate. Anyone in favor of the motion to postpone indefinitely, please? Anyone wish to speak? Seeing none, anyone else against, against wish to speak against the motion to postpone indefinitely? Ben. Ben Yellow, 
Uh, I generally agree with Kate's sentiment. I, I think that the idea is a reasonable one, but I do not believe that it can be done correctly without discussing it. And we can't appoint a committee by postponing indefinitely. Therefore, I would suggest that we defeat the motion to postpone indefinitely. And tomorrow, when this comes to the floor and can be sent to an appropriate committee, that we appoint such a committee. Thank you, Ben. Anybody else wish to speak to the motion to postpone indefinitely? Seeing, ah, Kevin. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you. M Kevin Stanley. Mr. Chairman, I think this is a really bad idea in principle. And I can go into the merits of a motion on the motion postponed indefinitely, so it's okay for me to say so. I think we really don't want to go here. Because if we go here, we actually are heading down the path for creating a, uh, an elected body to run WSFIS separate from the business meeting. Thank you. Terry. My name is Terry Neal. Um, I am broadly in favor of things that open Worldcon to supporting members more than what we have now. And I think that this proposal does that. And I would like to see it thoroughly discussed um, and a, a very well thought out proposal brought before the business meeting that we can at that time decide whether we want to do this or not. So I would like to not postpone this and run it to committee tomorrow. Thank you, Terry. Anybody else wish to speak to the motion to postpone indefinitely? Seth? Actually, I have a parliamentary inquiry. Uh -huh. Seth Breitbart. If the motion to postpone indefinitely passes, would a motion to appoint a committee to study this topic and report next year still be in order? Good question. I will say yes to that on the grounds that it is a somewhat different, uh, on the grounds that it is a uh, general inquiry rather than this specific motion. So yeah, we could create a committee tomorrow to uh, consider the general question of remoteness to the business meeting separate from this motion. Anybody else wish to speak to the motion to postpone indefinitely? Seeing none, despite the lights, we shall vote on it. Those in favour of postponing indefinitely, please show. Those against, please show. That is certainly not two-thirds in favour of postponing indefinitely, so that falls. And the motion is back before us. Anybody else wish to speak to the main motion? The, it, this is D1, remote but real, uh, physical attendance at the business meeting and non-real-time slash remote participation. Cliff. Mr. Chairman, I believe this motion is not before the meeting. We merely set debate time and we de actually debate the underlying motion tomorrow. No. This is a new proposal. It can be debated and amended and rejected here. No, it can't be rejected. Yeah, it is the preliminary meeting. We can't reject it. Yeah. Can't vote on it. Yep, we can certainly amend it. Right. Motions adhering, like amend, refer. Warren to Buff. Uh, motion to suspend the rules and and refer this to committee. I'll second that. Okay. Um, I think we've spoken about committees. Does anybody wish to speak to the motion to suspend the rules and uh, refer? It's not debatable. It's not debatable. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Beg pardon. <clears throat> it's been a while. <laughs> Martin Pine, PYNE. Uh, can we get a clarification on the motion to suspend and refer to committee as to when that committee would be expected to report? It would have to be a committee's report next year. Because, because it would be in order without suspending the rules to 
clarify to refer to committee to report back tomorrow. Yes. Yes. So that should we specify in the motion to suspend that it has to? Yes. Well, I, I, would, I take your intent rather than necessarily your exact wording. <laughs> I, was, I was drawing an inquiry. Sir, sir. sir. I want to see. I want to get the spelling of your name. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Right. We have a motion to suspend the rules and, and send this to a committee to report back next year. Um, those it takes two thirds to do this. Hello, Kevin. Point of order. Yep. And I'm raising this, Mr. Chairman, because I don't think it's ever come up. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I just that's okay. Sorry, uh, Mr. Chairman. There is a principle behind suspend the rules, and that is that rules that affect the rights of absentees yeah. cannot be suspended. And this may well be. Suspended. I would like the chair to rule on whether, I, and Mr. Chairman, I'm asking that the a ruling on whether this motion is even in order, because members may take our rules as written for granted that. All that can happen here is it be killed outright by, by postpone indefinitely or OTC. But that motions to create committees were, could not be taken up until the main business meeting, and therefore they may choose not to attend here. Yeah. Despite having, yes, you are, I think, right. And therefore, I think that as the point motion. of order that the motion to suspend the rules and refer to committee for, to refer next year is out of order. Yep. And if people will stop popping up to say things, we can uh, leave it and come back tomorrow. Ben. <laughs> um, while I, sorry, uh, Ben Yellow. While I actually believe that Kevin and Tim are correct. I believe this motion is su of sufficient importance that I want to get it into the stuff that the nitpicking committee will notice, and therefore I am going to appeal the ruling of the chair, uh, <laughs> and that way, should the appeal be defeated, then we will have something that the nitpicking committee can put into the rules because I agree completely with Kevin and Tim that this is an important thing to note for the future. Right. Does anybody wish to speak to the appeal? Or shall we just have a quick show of hands? Favor or uh, I don't think it matters. Yes. For my point, I take that Kevin's statement was entirely correct. Right. And, and as the maker of the appeal, I believe I have Yep. the right to speak, and I am choosing not to speak because as the maker of a motion, I cannot speak against my own motion. <laughs> um, I'm Joshua Croningold, and I would like to speak for this motion. Uh, because a uh, postpone indefinitely is a allowable two-thirds motion at the preliminary meeting, it is already known by attendee, uh, um, that by absentees at the preliminary meeting, that a motion could be killed at the preliminary meeting. Therefore, a motion to refer to committee is merely a lesser version of what is already allowable, and therefore the rights of uh, absentees are not in any way violated by allowing it um, via substantial of the rules. Thank you. Okay. Terry, wish to speak? Sorry, I'm bringing it. I'm still Terry Neal. Um, I think that we have a flow of the meeting that people understand that continue to come to the meeting. We also have that eight minute video that's been out um, online for a while that people have watched and that if we uh, overrule the chair, we're going to stick a socket wrench in that expectation, and I don't think that we should do that. Thank you. Elspeth. I think that assumption is incorrect. I can't hear you. Sorry, I think that assumption is incorrect, that we should not assume that people would do those things. Thank you. Seth. Um, 
Seth Breitbart. Parliamentary inquiry. If we were to overrule the chair and assign this motion to a committee, would it be in order for the main meeting to take it back from the committee and consider it? No, I don't think so. Well, can I speak for a moment? So, Tim? Okay, not me, Donald. Yeah. Oh, so, the, uh, if we were to do all that, uh, then the main business meeting would have to use some of the processes by which you can undo things you've already done. I yeah. mean, you can move to reconsider, you can do things like that. But it, it, it couldn't, by normal motions, take yeah. it back. That was my feeling. Right. Meanwhile, back at the uh, appeal of the ruling of the chair. Kate, are you wishing to speak to the, to the ruling? Thank you. <laughs> or again. Uh, yeah, are we for or against, Mr. Chair? You can be whichever you like. <laughs> I will be. <laughs> My name is Kate Secor. I think there is a qualitative difference between we're going to talk about this at this meeting only, we're not going to talk about this at all, and hey, if you wanted, didn't like the way it was this year, but you wanted a chance to fix it, we've made a committee and you could do that. Those are three really different thought processes. And there are people who are like, I don't care about this form of the motion. I think it's bad. If it dies, I don't care. Who would, if given a chance to participate in making it better, come and do that. I think not giving them a chance to know that a committee's even being formed because they didn't think you could do that here is somewhat unfair. Thank you. Anybody else wish to speak, or shall we proceed to a vote? Seeing no hands, proceed to a vote. The question is, shall the ruling of the chair be sustained? Those in favor of my ruling that the uh, motion to send to committee is out of order, to suspend rules and send to committee is out of order, please show. Yep, those against? Those wishing to overturn the ruling are fewer in number. The motion is therefore lost. And therefore the motion was out, is still out of order and we just have the main motion back on the floor. Does anybody wish to say anything about it or shall we leave it till tomorrow? tomorrow. Hearing no, nothing, that will go forward to tomorrow's business meeting. Probably to a committee. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. We never set a time limit on Yes, we did. <laughs> we set 10 minutes, the very we first thing. Uh, 10 minutes? No, we set 5 minutes. No, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10, 10, minutes. 10, 10 minutes. because it was controversial. Oh, right, right, right. That's right. Tim proposed 5, Kevin proposed 10 minutes. Yeah. Right, D2, adding series to the series. This is one of the nitpicking committee's little technical corrections where we spotted that some words have been missed out. I propose to set five minutes for this. Any objection? Hearing none, it's five minutes. Does anybody wish to speak to it or do we just let it go forward to tomorrow's meeting? Can we it? Seeing none. Can we it now? No. no. Go forward to tomorrow. Right, item D3, counting comics, which is a technical fix to a problem with the, uh, what is a comic in many ways. Um, no. What is a graphic? Well. The problem is how to count them because of what they are. <laughs> what is an entity that can go into the uh, Hugo category? Um, anyway. I propose five minutes on that. Does anybody wish to propose anything else at the back there? David Bratman, I think there will be some discussion on this and I would like to propose eight minutes. Any other proposals for times? Seeing none, those in favour of eight minutes debate time, please show. Hmm. Those in against? Motion passes, eight minutes it is. Um, anybody wish to speak to the motion itself? Dave? I am Dave McCarty, um, and this is not a technical Dave, fix. This Dave, is please sorry. speak louder or into sorry. the mic. 
I, I am Dave McCarty. Uh, speaking as a Hugo administrator, this is not a technical fix to anything. This is a substantial way to change how we count in a category in a way that matches how we count in no other category. I believe that this idea is very ill-considered. Um, so I am moving to postpone indefinitely. Right. Anyone wish to speak against postponing indefinitely? Andrew. I remain Andrew Adams. I think this is a contentious issue. I think there is an issue to be addressed. And therefore, while I am likely to vote against the motion, I believe we should have a debate on it. Thank you. Anyone in favour of the postponing indefinitely? Kate, are you in favour of postponing indefinitely? I am. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I like to keep these things in order. That's <laughs> Hi, I'm Kate Secor. We have a whole committee that can absolutely spend a year talking about how we count comics. I think this particular proposal, honestly, as a Hugo nominator, I find it kind of offensive. I nominate what I nominate. I don't want the administrators moving it around to have me nominating something else. I think if we want to change how that's done, that's fine. We can do it through the Hugo committee, but this particular proposal is not a good choice. Thank you. Speech against postponement indefinitely. Anyone wish? Yes, back. David Bratman. As a former Hugo administrator, I can say that all kinds of uh, issues of ambiguities and nominations come up all the time. The reason for this amendment was that there's particular problems in this category that was felt that some guidance to the administrators in the form of the Constitution might be a useful idea. Uh, we leave things open and ambiguous in some other respects, and sometimes we don't want to know how the sausage is being made. But I think in this case, it should at least be clarified that people would understand understand what it is that's going to happen when they nominate something that in a form uh, or a limitation that is not nominated by other people. Thank you. Speech for postponement indefinitely. Oh, so ben? Speaking against. Uh, yeah, that was against postponing indefinitely. Ben Yallo, still. I believe that, in fact, the guidance that this gives to Hugo administrators is not the way I believe things should, in fact, be counted. And therefore, I do not want to see us adopt something that I believe breaks the understanding between nominators and Hugo administrators. Thank you. Speech against postponement indefinitely. In the middle there, John. <laughs> Sorry, I don't necessarily recognize people because they're all backlit to me. <laughs> John Lawrence, former Hugo administrator. Uh, the rules for graphic story when they were adopted were very nebulous, this, and it's been, been difficult for both Hugo administrators and for voters from the ballots I've seen over the years to really understand what is being nominated. This gives some clarification to it, so I think it should be considered. Thank you. Anybody else wish to speak to the motion to postpone indefinitely? Terry. My name is Terry Neal and I'm one of the co-sponsors. Um, I would like the business meeting to consider handling this the way we did the earlier, where we do not postpone it indefinitely, we send it to the business, main business meeting tomorrow and then they can send it to committee because I agree that it needs some work and we would want to clarify things and then let a business meeting at a future Worldcon decide whether or not the a year of working on it worked for everybody. So I would not let, I'd like to not postpone it indefinitely and send it to committee tomorrow. Thank you. Kent. Yes. I'm Kent Bloom and uh, I believe there's already a committee that is considering this this area along with a lot of other things. So whether or not we uh, postpone it indefinitely or wait till tomorrow and refer it back to the committee that already exists, the committee is still going to be considering it. So I think postponing indefinitely saves us a lot of time. Thank you. Indeed. Uh, 
Uh, Mr. Chair, so uh, PRK, Perky, does a postpone indefinitely prohibit the, the Hugo Committee from reviewing it anyway? No. Thank you. It would prohibit the business meeting from considering it the rest of the weekend, but it would not limit the Hugo Study Committee. Anybody else wish to speak at the back there? Young lady, yes, you. <laughs> Second. Right. Right. Who wishes to speak? Anybody? Does anybody still wish to speak to the question on postponement indefinitely? <coughs> right. Two people might wish to speak. Let's consider the question. Who wishes to call the question? Those who do not wish to call the question. Rather fewer. Yep, we will call the question. The motion to postpone indefinitely. Those in favour of postponing indefinitely, please show. Hmm. Motion against postponing indefinitely, please show. It looks right on the uh, boundary to me. So we've. <laughs> right. We get to do the fun of serpentine. Um, those who wish to postpone indefinitely, please stand or otherwise show and count off, starting over there. Oh. Oh. Kevin, you're Kevin. No. Kevin, just do that section. Yeah. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 right? 20, 21, 22, 4. Those for against postponing indefinitely, please stand and show and count off. We've got one up here. We've got two up here. Two. <laughs> two. One. Two. Two. Three. No. Five. Twenty-six are opposed. Who are twenty-five? The eyes. Yeah, we got. Oh, okay. Paul didn't get counted the oh. first time. People always missing me. Yeah, that is more than two-thirds in favour of postponing indefinitely. So this is postponed indefinitely, and the Hugo com Study Committee should probably take note. Mm-hmm. Todd. <laughs> Uh, uh, while I'm perfectly willing to have the committee consider it, I believe that our remit is only limited to sections 3.2, and this is in 3.8. Ah. Right, yep, correct. Well, yeah. Actually, uh, Tim, Done. the Hugo oh. Committee was left out of the agenda, and under the rules, they have to be reauthorized, because they're not in the Constitution of Standing Rules. The, uh, they were being reauthorized. Yeah. They were? Yeah. <laughs> Disappointed with uh, how the co-op declined and uh, appoint. They would be... Is that the YA thing? Or, uh, maybe no, no. Okay, 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 okay. Well, anyway. Finish reporting. We appointed... Uh, yeah. We can refer this to it or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> 
It's a point of order, Kate. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the charge to the committee says study revisions to Article 3, including proposals for amending 3.2 and 3.3. It does not say including only. I believe yeah. it was not meant to be exclusive, and all of Section 3 is in the committee's remit. Thank you. That's, probably, that's up, really, to Cliff to decide whether he can consider it. It's his baby now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Right. D4, best podcast. I propose 10 minutes on this. Does anybody propose anything else? I thought we already decided on 20 minutes. No, we had not. I had proposed to do 20 on some of them, but we had not reached this one. Anybody else other than 10 minutes? Seeing none, 10 minutes it is. Does anybody wish to speak? to the best podcast motion. Kate. My name is Kate Secor, Mr. Chairman. I would like to move to postpone this indefinitely. There has been some discussion on the part of people who are currently eligible for this award for YouTube, blogging, and other associated things. They feel that the current wording is potentially exclusionary of them. Um, if we postpone it indefinitely, then the committee can take it back up and try and fix it and remove it next year with a better phrasing. Thank you. Do we have a speech against postponement indefinitely? Seeing none, we'll have a vote. Those in favor of postponing this indefinitely, Second. please show. Too late. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty. Those against PI? Couple. PI. That was quick. Right. D5, which comes with a D5-1. Uh, short title, Professional Fan and Fan Artist Hugo Awards. Um, I originally proposed 20 minutes for this. Does anybody propose anything different? Seeing none, 20 minutes it is. Does anybody wish to speak? to the motions. Joni. I can adjust. Hi, my name is Joni Dashoff. In an alternate body, I am Vice President of ASFA, and my understanding as a WITSFIS member is this is for consideration of time, and we normally discuss business on Saturday. Well, for your information, the ASFA general meeting is scheduled against the business meeting tomorrow, so some people who might wish to speak to this will not be able to do so, so I move to postpone definitely to Sunday. Second, at, at 11 o'clock after the site selection uh, business would be completed. Correct. After, as an ex-site <laughs> selection administrator, I wholeheartedly <laughs> approve of <laughs> Does anybody wish to speak against the motion to postpone definitely? Uh, just a parliamentary inquiry. <laughs> Believe it or not, Mr. I actually know how to do the adjustments. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there are only a couple of people who actually care about this, but I just want a clarification. The motion is to postpone it to be considered not before, yeah. that's the key words, yes. not before 11 o'clock Sunday. Correct. Yes. Is that correct? Thank you, Mr. Yep. Chairman. Second vote. Yep. We will attempt to take it up at 11 if we have time then. Uh, right, those in favor of postponing definitely, please show. Lots. Those against postponing, definitely. I think there are actually none for a change. <laughs> Yay! That's a first. <laughs> yep. Joni, I think that's a first. <laughs> <laughs> right, onward. D6, comic books and graphic stories. Hugo Awards Study Committee, again, just proposing a change to the title of the category here. Um, five minutes sound good to people? Nobody else wishes to speak? Five minutes it is. Anybody wish to speak to this at this point? 
Seeing none, we we'll go forward to tomorrow. And D7, notability still matters. A slight technical change around the uh, new counting rules. It's not probably very controversial. Five minutes. Anybody wish to suggest anything it was like else? Hmm? I thought it was like ten. No, it was five. It was the five, long one okay. was. Uh, the other, yeah. Hearing none. Anybody wish to speak about this motion? Nope. Seeing none. The meeting stands adjourned until tomorrow morning. <laughs>